Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Just Another Kill Team podcast, connecting Kill Team communities We're across good. the globe. If you're passionate about the tactical skirmish game that brings together strategy, lore, and creativity, you are in the right place. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and stay updated with our latest episodes. If you want to support the show, check out our Patreon. Your support means a lot to us. Follow us by using the social media links in the podcast description for all the latest news, and be sure to leave a review to let us know what you think. Thanks for tuning in. Here's today's episode. Well, geez, we got the Plague Marine rules. Yeah, they're kind of a doozy, honestly. We have been talking a lot about how to beat Astartes, but maybe it's time to recalibrate some of those ideas, because I really don't know if those strategies are going to work against a four-up feel no pain. (laughs) For feel no pain, and then they have uh, a ploy where they, for a whole activation, can just have a everything is damage reduced, like you succeeded on all of your four ups. Yep. So it looks like we found the new anti elite meta, and it's just other elites. More that elites. Just don't take damage. If you can't beat them, beat them some more, and then beat them more and more and more, and then cry when they heal. Luckily, there's not that much heal across the team. So Plague Marines, for anyone who is catching up with us on this blessed day of November 6th, because GW just dropped the rules. Wait a second. Warcom and the app. They should have dropped it tomorrow because that would have been the 7th. And that's Nurgle's blessed number. Missed you know, opportunity. Maybe, yeah, I kind of wonder if someone at the, uh, at the Nurgle HQ just wanted the giggles to come out a little bit earlier. Because there's good flavor here there's a lot of threes there's a lot of sevens you know nurgle's holy numbers three and seven you can even set a cloud of nurglings at someone as a strategic ploy which is just very cute it is very cute um another amusing thing to note for the operative selection uh you can only take one warrior there's a list of of seven operatives you can take any of them once so no need to like go get an extra box of plague marines if you have the the starter set of plague marines you're good to go um i haven't thought about the the regular box of plague marines in a long time but i'm like 90 percent sure you can build all of this out of that yeah i don't think there's anything too crazy except for maybe the sorcerer is not like an easy model out of a plague marine box yeah that's definitely true luckily for any aspiring chaos players making a little fireball in a hand with green stuff or someone's borrowed green stuff is probably pretty trivial at this point finding like a random other sorcerer floating around yeah the team's got access to security and seek and destroy two very powerful archetypes as it currently stands with you know having nurgle get contained and just stand around waiting for your opponent to come to you or you sit in a box and stink it up with your poison and your three up cloud of flies which is basically just a three inch smoke marker yeah a lot of these raw stats do just look totally insane um you could definitely just like park inside of a stronghold and be totally fine yeah, I mean, the new Contagion ploy is subtract two from the move stat and minus one to the hit stats for anyone in control range, has poison in three or within three of the icon bearer. So plop an icon bearer inside of the tiny box on some of those maps and you've got an easy contained stronghold or whatever, whatever the score ground is for security. So and like a pretty spicy elite meta for the world championships. It's the Nurgle hot box. Yeah. I wonder how many players are actually going to be playing Nurgle at the World Championships, considering the cutoff is reasonably soon. But these rules have definitely made it past the cutoff date for the World Championship, as far as I can tell. Yeah, uh, because the cutoff date was tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And the team will be out pretty soon. What's up? Can you roll crit? Welcome. Here to talk a little bit of hot takes with about the new meta, the, the Plague Marines of Warhammer 40k kill team. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm feeling sick, so I feel like I'm in the right mood to talk about this team. And I also like don't care about balance, so I feel like I'm really good about talking about this team. Look, Entropy is just the rudest spell that anyone has ever written in the entire history of the game. We had an entire four years of seven wound operatives being strong, and now the Malignant Plaguecaster has dropped down with his Entropy. Four <laughs> dice, three, three, seven, range seven, saturate, severe, poison. So if you get hit, you permanently get damaged for the rest of the game and it does seven damage on a crit and you're always going to get a crit unless you miss all three dice and the funny thing is if you get two normal saves and use it to save a crit you'll take six and be poisoned and then die on your next (laughs) activation anyways 
it's a truly insane profile that yeah. basically says we are done with the human meta here for the right. superhumans. He has been nerfed, right? In the starter set, he could fire both weapons. Now he can only fire one. He can't do entropy and flagrant. He can only do one or the other. So technically, technically he's been toned down. <laughs> No, that's not true. It's if it's two shoot actions, a bolt gun, bolt pistol. No, in, in the starter rules, in the starter rules, in the you cannot set. select the same psychic weapon more than once. You could, you could still fire it before. You could fire all of them before. But you would before. have to but shoot still... each psychic spell once. I retract those statements. Yeah, so he can still fire all of his psychic spells. <laughs> so if he stand there, he could just entropy, plague wind, and poisonous miasma. Just like. Release a cloud of flies and just nuke a small farm. Like, imagine one small village just gets immediately turned into a pile of plague bearers. Well, I mean, I guess this is how uh, Games Work just wants us to be Inquisition. Dude, I cannot imagine how you're supposed to kill this team when the Psyker can actually heal for seven wounds. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, man. You're healing 2d6. With the highest D6, or if you get seven, you just heal seven, which is it's just wild. Flavor wise, I feel like they knocked this team out of the park. Unfortunately, for the flavor, is the most overpowered team in the team in, in the game. Well, right now. My, my problem is they've they've started to become like uh, seventh edition 40k, where they're prioritizing flavor over actual balance. Like it's very bizarre. Like all these chain. Like the weirdest thing is, I say in my main review, but. All this stuff they've done working off of Nurgle's number was a proven problem in Galapox, which they fixed for Galapox because they were like, um, you know, blessings of infection. They were like, oh, if, you, if you're in a uh, discarded dice of three or more, you turn uh, a miss into a hit. And they were like, oh, okay, let's just make it total discarded dice. But they basically fixed all instances of that because they realized they had gone too far. And then they were like, oh, we'll just turn off, we'll turn off that, that, that voice in our head when it comes to Plague Moons. And, oh, actually, Jason, so one of the cool things, the Plague Marine War, it does have a unique ability, and it is the old Mark of Nurgle. Yeah, he's got so, like, a crit save on a five. five crit success. Yeah, so he's just able to stand around and just soak damage. And if you have knocked a poison, notched a poison against your opponent, he's just a four or five Vulcan. So, yeah, yeah, the toxic no bolt rounds, bananas. Yeah, there's no reason to do this, but, you know. But actually, there might be a reason. You can take a bunch of vaulters and have. Oh, you can only take one poison. warrior, though. Oh, is this one a specific one warrior team? Yeah, yeah the operative selection. Yeah, it's like five plague marines from the know, list, and then they're all listed, and it doesn't say. It doesn't make an exception for the warrior. Otherwise, I feel like that would be just a full blown amazing, like. Uh, I'm all for warrior spam if it was allowed. Yeah, warrior spam for this team seems insane. But the icon bear is crazy because it basically just means that contagion ploy that gives you the injury bubble is just on all the so time. So I get very upset at this because it shouldn't have been contagion. It should have been the 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 firefight ploy. Uh, what do you call it? The one that gives you a poison token, a virulent poison. That should have been the free ploy instead of the strap ploy, in my opinion. If they wanted to be balanced. I mean, this team is this team is wild. It seems wildly off balance to me. Uh, but uh, maybe, my favorite thing is the hot take. Maybe we'll play a little bit and we'll see how they feel. I'll try them tonight against Adrian D. <laughs> and, uh, we'll give it a test run. See how the Necron fare against, you know, just straight up ignored all the damages. I think melee. Necrons actually can't be okay with this, with the Psycho Monster into this team, because they can just, like, as long as they just don't get hit really hard, they can just, like, stay back and hopefully win. Uh, Look, all I'm looking forward to crazy. is Nurgle's poison infecting Necron tier metal and just slowly resting it because that sounds we know great if, and flavorful. Do we know if this team is legal for worlds yet? <laughs> they are, yeah. Uh, it is, yeah. I think from what I remember about hearing about the cutoffs, this seems like a fully legal team for worlds, and this team seems oh, wildly that's, overpowered that's for elite. Like it's not just the elites, everyone. No, I like as an elite team, like this is now oh, yeah. this is now the metric, right? Like we were talking about how legionary is overpowered. Like this team has the minus hit of legionary. They don't have the armor. They don't have the armor penetration stuff. But you're also ne almost never going to kill them with a melted gun outright. Uh, you can if they don't trigger their firefight ploy that turns off your hits. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah sure. Yeah, well, you'll definitely kill the guys in security with a melted gun. That's well, because even if you get four hits, they knock they knock one, so then they take um, minimum. The problem is actually landing damage. the four hits, right? Only yes. Casterkin yes. and Inquisition kind of get there, but even then, 
hitting on threes with re rolls doesn't mean you always get four hits. Generally, you're, I think you're expecting three. Oh, no, no. Zinch can do it with their melter gun, like Legionary, but they have to either hope that firefight ploy is triggered or they roll four plus on everything. Yeah, not super likely. Um, there are definitely some weaknesses to the team. Um, like, the fact that they only move five is a pretty big weakness, in my opinion, especially if you can, like, blockade them. But the problem with that is if you do create a blockade to not let them through and they take contain, then you just lose. So I guess that's not really a solution. Um, but there's a lot of restrictions on here. Like, the Sorcerer... Um, can only shoot twice if he's within seven and he straight up cannot fight twice because his melee weapon is a psychic weapon and you can't use the same psychic weapon twice in an activation. Um, the fighter doesn't have any oh. shooting attacks, so he, that means his only opportunity to shoot is the blight grenades, and those are kind of like splash yeah. with a little poison, you know, like it, it's not like amazing and you yeah. can't shoot twice with it. Um, the team also doesn't have a lot of rerolls, if I remember correctly. There's it like no rerolls. Hitting well, but there's no rerolls. So maybe it'll be that they take a lot, but they just are not as consistent as something like Legionary. Yeah, and like well, this is interesting. So I've been talking to some uh, Plague Marine fans who are like they still think Legionary are better, but I'm like, oh, no, I don't know. Yeah, they're they're definitely up there with them. Um, I mean, I, I like I've I've got all the Nurgle merch. I mean, I my first ever army like getting into 40k was Death Guard. Um, they they look like a pretty neat, fun team. Um, they like just on paper look completely insane. But then like digging through the weaknesses makes me feel better the more i find like all of the restrictions because your only long range shooting are the sorcerer who you also want to keep safe because he's your healer and two bolt guns are like the only other two things that can shoot long range um and then like a bunch of the specialists so like your leader has a plasma pistol so he can't shoot twice uh the heavy gunner is doesn't have a bolt weapon so he can't shoot twice and then his fight twice is just four attacks on three fists <laughs> So their output yeah. is kind of like not amazing, especially because they don't have any rerolls. Um, but then they're just super duper tanky and they poison you a bunch um, and they can play security. So uh, we're talking about the Nurgle hotbox. Just put the banner and maybe one other plague marine inside of a stronghold. And then you've got seven APL that just will not die no matter what. And then anything that comes in there is just like getting poisoned and, and just going nuts. I think the big thing is that the faction equipment is so, so strong. So we mentioned, like, there's not yeah. a lot of raw shooting, but playgrounds means that the first tap generally adds poison, and that means the second tap, especially on the bulk gun warrior, is going to be 4-5 with severe. So it's not great against targets in cover, but against any of the smaller teams, you do just absolutely murder them. And then against the other elite teams, you chip pretty substantially, because 4-5 is a pretty good breakpoint against 14 wounds. And then you've got the poison vents, and the poison vents are D3 damage if you're activated within three inches of a marine. So the moment they're into your lines, you're just never going to get rid of them, and you're just taking D3 every time that you activate, which is wildly spooky. Um, amusingly, I could see if you're just like hanging out in a stronghold, I don't know, this might be a, a, bit, a bit much, um, but just blight grenade to hit multiple targets and yourself, and you don't care because you're so tanky. Seems like a Nurgle thing to do. Yeah, it's just a smoke grenade, but it's actually just you farting. But, like, the Blight Grenade is a saturate, severe poison frag grenade. Yep, yep. And you only get two of them in a battle, which is interesting. Because it's, like, I in the... I find that wording frequency. really weird. Why didn't they just say, you get two Blight Grenades? It's just... There's lots of odd wordings in this like kill team. Yeah, it could like, be blight grenades two x, but I think it would probably people might have there might have been an argument on the internet like, can you take them twice or they, you can only take them once? So I guess this resolves that argument ahead of time, which is kind of cute. Yeah, it's a, this team seems crazy. You know, I don't know if the heavy gunner is all that good because another range seven model on a five movement team. Eh. Uh, well, I do like it. it. It has torrent, but it's like if you look at it, he can just run up to a marine. He should get five hits, push through six damage, and poison them. Yeah, but he's only moving five, so like you're getting your the chance he can of your move, opponent he can getting reposition his, melee. his gun isn't um heavy. Yeah, yeah, but you can your opponent can always be at the correct range for that. I think. 
like for asymmetric charging against uh, Slanesh or other elites. Yeah, and he is kind of just like a fearless missile to run out and and pour goop on Drop people. Fire. Yeah. Uh, but That's then like, if you yeah. just, like, run up and try to fist fight him, I mean, I guess if he makes you hit on fours, and he does still have four attacks, he'll kind of just, like, fend you off. I mean, my issue is, like, normally I would, as, I'd actually look at dropping the grenadier, but then, like, he, he gets toxic on his grenades. <laughs> so it's just like, well, he's staying now. Uh, but I probably would drop the, the heavy gun and just for a warrior, because the warrior is just so good. Yeah, also, like, you gotta keep the Grenadier, because he's one of your only, like, two disposable long-range shooters. Yeah, he's, he's got a 3-4 and severe and poison, so... It's like, my issue is that at, at this team, like, they you, they go like, oh, they're slow, they won't really get their opponent's objective, so they're just gonna camp on the middle. It's like, well, we'll give them some, like, they, they were like, that's their weakness, and they, like, completely overcompensate, because I'm not sure how you're supposed to... Uh, like legionary can fight them off the mid. I don't think any other team can. Like, what on to earth? be fair, looking at how they're they're framed, if I think about Volcus and how hard it is to get around Volcus for some of the teams right now, maybe on Volcus they feel reasonably fair. And then on in the dark, this team seems like crazy because they will just like stand in the open and just take it and then just shoot you back. Well, and they'll just sit on their uh, plague wind as uh, plague flies as well. Just sit in the middle on their plague fires doing a smoke on the other side and you just go like oh, okay yeah you can just have you know two two out of the three turns covered in smoke and forcing your opponent to come into range of your flies while you have contagion so i think on in the dark maybe this team seems a little bit insane elites have generally always been better on in the dark because they can push in really quick but this team can do that and not get punished for its five, five inch movement nearly as hard as it does on open but there and are some tactics on Galadoc because they are actually slowed quite heavily by doors. So if you go defender against the well, if you if you take initiative against them and set up your barricade on the central objective so they can't cover it, they actually literally can't reach the objective turning point one, but they can then turning point two. But I don't it doesn't make them worse. They're still just like they have all the tools to just wait to get onto that point ever regardless. Yeah. So Jason, are you uh, how how are you feeling L- now looking at this team going into worlds? I mean, the f- coming from the Phobos perspective, um, playing against this with Phobos, using the speed against them for just like asymmetrical threats is is still seems like it is an amazingly good answer. Um, if they run up and uh, you know, like the the gunner or, or someone runs up, move dash shoot, does a little chip damage, poisons a Phobos Marine. I'm pretty sure Phobos Marines can still. I'd have to like test this a little bit, but I think you know two two guys shooting back will still kill a plague marine with a little bit even of if, dice. I think even if they reduce your da- your bolt gun to two free, um, because they'll only reduce the bolt gun for one activation, and then after and then like you've got piercing rounds, you got lethal five balanced. Um, the shooting output is maybe it'll take three. Uh, so if they just like full sprint and hit the lines all at once, that's pretty scary. Uh, we have a patron subscriber, Matt, joining the Discord call. Welcome, Matt. Hey, hey. on the teams for Kill Team, but maybe perhaps not homeless anymore. Yeah, I'm I'm adding it to one of the like ten ish teams that I'm considering. Uh, this team looks real good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as a Necron player, you're used to the five-inch move, so all you gotta yeah. do is figure out how to abuse your opponent with six stinky boys. You're telling me I got three APL and I can just do an extra dash and still shoot? Sign me up. I remember when this really... game was balanced. <laughs> I, I really the like that these world. guys have good melee profiles, access to strong obscuring options, and can basically just camp a midline pretty decently and just say, hey, I've got my flail guy, I've got my leader. Just give it a try. Run at me, melee me, see what'll happen. I've got Contagion up. Uh, I loved playing Chaos Demons in the last edition, and that was a lot of the game plan, was just parking Plague Bearers on the midline uh, and just trying to tar pit. And it feels like this team has a lot of that juice. Yeah, secure center line. Just put the banner in a cloud of flies in the middle of the board, and then a couple other homies, like one more standing on the center line. That could be interesting. Yeah. I'm a big fan of uh, trying to do. I, I think center line uh, or secure center is going to be incredible. 
Uh, you could also probably do an asymmetric push, just send like uh, Icon Bearer and then maybe one other, two other Plague Marines and just huck three Marines at a Volcus uh, stronghold on your opponent's side of the field. And I mean, that's a full tack op right there. Yep, the Nurgle hotbox. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you're not cracking the windows on those ones. It's terrible in there. <laughs> oh, man. Well, right. So my Legionary can deal with this team, I think. It's like still, it's not like 100% reliable, but I think like my Legionary can. I don't know how other teams are supposed to. I actually think this team has like hard counters Warp Coven, which is like, haha, <laughs> for Warp Coven. But that's completely messed up. This is like, this is so bad. Like, how did this get like approved? It's so crazy. Like, my you gosh. Know, early days. We just got to see where the balance shakes out in three months after all of the elites get toned down a little bit. Because yeah, this, gonna is, be this is the world fight, we live but... in right now. Like, we are, we live in the elite world, and everyone has to figure out plans to deal with the space marines. But, which... but the thing is, it's, it's like, world is going to be even funnier. So I believe cutoff is tomorrow, and it's just like, um, <laughs> it's funny because, um, like, we're all getting these rules space now. marines taking drop it's pods like, into Atlanta. So bad. Like, uh, what well, I think Legio can get around this, but I don't know how other teams do. Like, Warp Coven are just like, pray, pray. Like, it is funny because Zinch and Nurgle are like, like, uh, uh, they're like arch enemies. So I think it's yeah, kind of fun. Yeah. Is that even, and then everyone else is just like, I guess Zinch as well, but worse. <laughs> like, it is just funny or, or watching Inquisition just go, like, I can't, I can't beat this team. And I'm like, good. <laughs> But then yeah. every other team is now just like, oh, I brought seven wounds. It's like, well, you made the wrong decision this edition. Uh, try again, please. It's just... Alrighty. Well, it's uh, Plague Marine Wednesday, as it were. Plague Marine Wednesday. Not quite. I guess, uh, you know, it's the third day of the week, right? So maybe that's what they were going for on the release timing? I can get behind it. starts on Monday and not Sunday, right? If we stretch it out enough, that that can be our reasoning. It really was a missed opportunity not to put them out on the seventh. Yeah, you know, I'm happy enough with how many other little references to three and seven there are on here. I'm gonna need to get like special measuring tools that are exactly seven inches just for this team. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> it well, just has it just has a three and a seven, and that's it. Well, they should introduce if they're so obsessed with like the like the god specific numbers. Like a a death god kill team player can only finish at best third or seventh <laughs> on a multiple <laughs> of three. I'm so excited for this team. I've been pulling out plague marines and pulling out paint pots as we're talking here. Just super stoked to give it a spin. Yeah, luckily you live in New York, so you can just go outside, dip it into the East River, and call it a day. Yeah, easy peasy. I, I don't even need dirty down. That's just what's in the uh, what's in the sidewalk. Yeah, bottled Apple East River. <laughs> um, well, if we wanted to run through the ploys and the equipment, we could do that. That might be kind of fun. Um, we kind of touched on some of them. Um, Nurglings is a strategy play that we didn't talk about at all. Um, it is select one enemy operative within three inches of a friendly plague marine or one enemy operative that has one of your poison tokens and is within seven of a plague marine. Uh, until the end of the selected operative's next activation, subtract one from its APL stat. Um, so that can help with your Nurgle hotbox where you just like pop in there. You've got a banner in there that gives you count as one extra and then you can Nurglings to take away someone else's APL and like you can steal objectives from people. You can mess up their activations. It's and like you don't have to roll for it. It's just like it's a bad time to but be near the Plague weird. Marines. It was like a firefight ploy that became a strategy ploy. It's just like it. Fe it's just the weirdest strategy ploy I've seen. Like it's it was very worse odd. than that. It it was a piece of equipment. It was a three EP equipment for Compendium Death Guard. But it's just like that feels like it should have been a firefight ploy. It just feels weird as a strategy ploy. Like I, I it's still good, but I'm just like, why isn't that a firefight ploy? Like in all other instances, that would be a firefight ploy. I, I think it feels a little more honest to have to do it immediately. Uh, like at the start of a turning point rather than like, I think we can all agree. It'd be ridiculous if there was a team that could just in the middle of its activation, stun somebody, uh, especially if they were Slaneshi legionaries. 
Um, but in this case, Wait, like, what are we talking about? That's standard. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's a perfectly balanced team. Um, perfectly balanced. Uh, but I, I do think it, it feels like a little more telegraphed and a little more uh, like avoidable play around. Yeah. Yeah. Like there, there's a way you can like have like a cat and mouse game with like uh, Omni Scramble or Vox Scream or something like that. Uh, or you could also lock up an operative that's like a two APL operative um, so that they can't fall back anymore. And they're stuck in uh, like melee range with a plague marine. And it gives you kind of this weird like uh, stasis on an area so you can deal with one sort side of the board and then activate another side of the board first. Um, makes a relatively like narrow team feel a lot wider. Yep, yeah, definitely use that to take hostages. Um, they all, we also kind of like tapped on the Cloud of Flies a little bit. Um, Cloud of Flies is essentially a smoke grenade that you place as a strategy ploy, but it has a three inch from the token aura instead of just like wholly within one inch, which is the normal smoke grenade. So you can have oh, like it a wholly within three. Oh, so now this is wholly within three. Um, you yeah. like plague brains that are wholly within three. Um, you know, th that's a way bigger smoke grenade than a normal smoke grenade. Yeah, for reference, that's basically like almost the entirety of the strong, like a Vulcus stronghold. Like that's a huge radius. Luckily, it doesn't stop piercing like actual yeah. smoke grenades do. So yeah. you can melt a or plasma or crack grenade. And luckily, the Nurgle faction does not ignore piercing. They just tank it out with raw stats. There is some uh, advice that we don't need to give the Plague Marine players, but I'm going to say it anyways. And if they do pop regular smoke on themselves, they will ignore the piercing. And yeah, because you're, you're spamming people with like two inch and three inch bubbles, you're able to just haze out your opponent and they won't know what range to think about. No, it's just weird. It's like once again, they were like, oh, let's make it a three inch bubble. Like it's really good. And they, I guess originally they were like, as, as you said, it's not like a normal smoke grenade because it doesn't negate piercing. But as you said, you just stand in a Volker's building or even on the mid and you're just hiding behind heavy. So your opponent has to get close. They get close, don't kill you. And then you just go heal tap. So it's kind of like really good for the Death Guard player. And you don't count yeah. as obscured when you're shooting out. That is the other big thing. So you can shoot out uh, on like other smokes. So you can have like this almost non-reciprocal shooting to away. So it's like very, uh, you don't have much long range shooting, but if you've got the boat gun warrior there, the boat gun warrior just goes like, come at me, bro. I'm going to heal up and shoot you again if you don't kill me in like one volley. And spoiler yeah, alert, that's... you won't kill him in one volley. That's an incredible call out. Like, Cloud of Flies reads that it only applies when the Plague Marine is being shot, so it can shoot out of it no problem. Yep. Um, which is, man, that's nasty. It makes sense because Cloud of Flies doesn't affect Nurgle operatives, but it's just like, wow. If the aura wasn't so big, it wouldn't be so crazy, but you can like really abuse that aura. Yeah, honestly, flavor wise, knocked it out of the park across the board, but how I feel about the balance implications of this team. Uh, well, some some scenes think it's okay. I mean, like if you if you had checked, some somebody updated their tier list uh, like two weeks ago, saying like they only think Death Guard are A plus. So maybe maybe they're not that strong. Too slow. Yeah, can't get with it. They can't get that third objective, the crucial third objective when you're playing crit ops. The blessed third objective. <laughs> yeah, the blessed third. But you really just don't care about any of that stuff. You just stand inside your stronghold and tell people to come at you, and then donk them on the head with contagion contagion flails. I think it's like... they're they're definitely good. I think uh, whatever this fantastical region is that has them at an A plus tier list, uh, which also seems like one of the only regions that does A plus tier list. Uh, but I think they're good. I don't think they're like just unplayably broken. Uh, but I think there are plenty of teams that have good play into them. I think like I'm seeing things that Inquisition could do. They could uh, like turn off the flies. They still have a crazy amount of piercing. Um, I think novitiates probably have pretty good play into this because they can out heal poison, and the damage breakpoints are pretty bad for novitiates. Um, my my main squeeze right now, Hyrotech. You just you pop four death marks, easy peasy. You're cleaning up no problem. I shoot think there is smoke, some shoot shoot through play. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. With with Hyrotech, it's more you take the Psycho Monster because then you turn off all their crits. Um, you make it harder for them to play their mission. 
I think Legio has counterplay. The only problem Def, um, what do you call it, Inquisition will have is because most of their shooting hits on freeze when they send their suicide melter in, <laughs> like they're like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't roll freeze. You could have the hilarious instance where the melter gun rolls in, turning point one. Um, uh, they to shoot you because the other interaction with your um, negation aura, if they have to get within two inches of you to shoot you, they're minus one to hit. So they are hitting now on fours, but then it's like they're hitting on fours with ceaseless. Any freeze, like you can proc into more damage. Um, and it's just kind of like, ooh, it's just like, is there a range on the, the firefight ploy? I think it's not. The uh, Curse of Rot? Yeah. Okay, so oh, Curse within of seven. Rot. Within seven. And that's if, they're, if they have a poison token. Otherwise, it has to be within three. Um, yes. So f- so what we've been chatting about here is the Curse of Rot. It's a firefight ploy. Use this fire ploy. F- use this firefight ploy when a friendly plague marine operative is fighting against or shooting against an enemy operative within three inches of it. Um, or seven if they have a poison token. After your opponent rolls their attack dice or defense dice, so that's after, um, for each result of three they roll, inflict one damage on that enemy operative. That result is treated as a fail, and they cannot re-roll it. Pretty strong. For each result is pretty damning. My favorite thing is, like, just at least seeing all the live reactions, that the reactions have been either two things. Wow, I'm so happy I've got my Death Guard rolls. What is this team? (laughs) <laughs> oh no so gone okay so this is if i so like if i'm shooting against you and you are like another space marine and you roll a th- like two threes on your armor save not only does that three deal a damage against you but it's a fail so the die that you were trying to save against goes through that's yes. kind of the insane other that, the other thing i pointed out to people people said like oh that people are thinking it only works if you hit on a free. Even if you roll freeze, you can spend a CP to make those freeze uh, do, just turn into ones to do damage. So you don't care. It's not like the condition is they have to be free uh, successes. They just have to roll freeze. So if someone shoots you, like let's say they shoot you with a six dice weapon, they have like three or four wounds left and roll four, uh, four freeze. You spend a CP, they die before they resolve their shoot action. Like, Got them. Like, obviously... That obviously, obviously they have to get close, but it's like, I think people are missing that. Obviously it won't trigger if they've already rolled their hit, so you then can't make them injured, but then shooting. But obviously like the other powerful thing is if they're trying to make saves, like the Plague Spewer walks up to a Marine, shoots into them. They roll a free, free and a six. You go, okay, well, I'm going to spend um, one CP. You now take two damage and now you take four hits. So you die. Yeah. Pretty gnarly. Yep. Yep. Like... The problem is there's like no counterplay. I would rather if like uh I I think it didn't need the damage. If it just made them sit fails, I could kind of go like, okay, that's fine. But it's like it's such a it feels like it's tailored more for the elite matchup, but it has way more uses outside of the elite matchup, which is just like makes it so good. Yeah, fully agreed. Very powerful short range team. Don't get stuck in a box with the Nurgle Legionary, because they will cough on you. They will. Um, speaking of coughing on you, they have a poisonous demise where when they die, they explode on you and it does damage to you. If you're poisoned, you take more. Um, they also have sickening resilience as a firefight ploy, which is essentially just use the ploy when someone is attacking you. And until the end of the activation or counteraction, um, you basically, it's just, you succeeded at all of your feel no pain dice. So, or the other way to say it is just permanently subtract one instead of instead of rolling so just flat damage reduction of two yep that's pretty powerful i don't think there are a lot of like guns or attacks that do uh two damage or less anymore so like everything everything that i'm like worried about getting hit at hit by as a plague marine uh probably does three damage or more anyways so I, i think that's i think that's fine I don't I mean, need to be reducing two damage hilarious. down to one. It's just, uh, it's just cool. It's just very powerful. Yeah, three yeah. damage down to two is is a bit is a bit much. I think it is better than having a five up feel no pain though. Um, like, it, yeah. sorry, it's, it's really- better in the sense that it's it's a better balance change. I think a five up feel no pain would be bonkers on this team. You can at least. Um, predict I think this is way more realistic. S- seven, you know, two damage hits. <laughs> 
to go through. It's easier to work around the current edition's feel no pains, but this is probably still going to feel like a, a crazy amount of damage mitigation. Because instead of a 14 wound model, you're playing around 17 wounds, it looks like. And then you can get healed for seven, which is very powerful. Yeah, the fact that it's pretty much impossible to kill them in a single activation uh, and then they can heal pretty dramatically is quite a quite a combo. And then your leader also heals as long as things are poisoned around him. So if you can keep the poison up, it's going to be very, very hard to actually chip them down because you've got two separate models that heal. And if the leader goes in and gets a kill, he can just stand around probably in a smoke grenade and just make your opponent ex- incredibly miserable. Yeah, they definitely have some juice. All right, y'all. Um, well, I think that's where we're going to call it for the Hot Takes episode. Um, stay tuned next week. We'll be in Beijing. 